Hello and welcome to Cut, Cut That, that promo. promo, our weekly wrestling podcast that drops right here on YouTube.com slash sit down shout out every Wednesday night. I am your host, John Lucas, alongside my co-host, Vinny Bernard. Woo! Mr. Kevin Ortiz, how's it going, bro? It's going great. Styling and profiling. Styling and profiling. <laughs> follow us on YouTube at sit down shout out. You can follow me on Twitter at jamlucas18. You can follow Vanny at Vanny Bernard. You can follow v- Kevin at OrtizKevin90. Follow the channel at Cut That Promo and I'll sit down showdown. Yep. We are the generation that grew up in the Attitude Era. This is our take on the business. So, it seems fitting. It is no mercy time. The greatest wrestling game of all time. Throwing it back. And you know, if you've had this game, then you know you have to have two copies because they eat saves. (laughs) So, welcome to our no mercy predictions. Uh, We're going to go ahead and jump right on into it. Uh, Carmella versus Nikki Bella is, I'm very vocal on this show. I do not like Carmella. Not I won't. Ne- no, 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 not never. She's not at all. Never. But she's F A N A. She is. No, 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 no. I will never pick her on this show, ever, 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 ever. ever. I got Nikki Bella. Well, I, uh, I'm the opposite of you. I, I do like Carmella. Why? Like Mandy said, she's definitely fabulous. Absolutely. One day she's gonna be a fabulous woman champion. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I can't wait for that. I agree. But now's not the time. Uh-huh. Uh, she's gonna most likely eat the pinfall to uh, Nikki Bella because Nikki Bella just been taking she's been taking L's week to week. Carmella called Nikki a thirsty wannabe Kim Kardashian. Damn. And she did her <laughs> elbow on her outside the ring. That's how she threw like Alexa Bliss into her. <laughs> that was so funny though. It was. Yeah, if you didn't tell you SmackDown, check it out. It was pretty good this week. Vinny, who you got? I'm going Nikki Bella as well. Mm-hmm. Nikki's making him beat week after week. Yeah. Yeah. She's been so one sided. You'd think that she. I think she gets. I don't think she gets a convincing win. I get. I think. I think she gets some type of roll up win. Yeah. To the point where the feud still continues. Or they're just they're continues. on even planes. Exactly, yeah. and then Carmella beats her down for another month. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. sense. <laughs> I'm cool with that. Face has to win on pay per view. Heels win on TV, right? There you go. Exactly. Unless you're Bray Wyatt. Oh. Why did you go? <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Mistake, no, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> uh, next match, and I'm happy he's finally on the pay per view. Baron Corbin versus Jack Swagger. I'm going with my man Corbin. He's he needs the win right now. I think this <laughs> finally could be a big solidified pay per view win for him. I think it's a good good move. Start some momentum behind him. Nah, I'm with you on that one. Um, like you say, he definitely needs this win a lot more than Swagger does. Even though Swagger has yeah, been doing some good stuff, I guess ever since yeah. he got to SmackDown. But uh, I just want to see the end of days on Swagger. I do too. I love the end it's of days. Picture perfect. Betty. I was almost about to say nobody wins. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a tire count out. Yeah, like a double count out. They might you saw that. how well that went over with Cesaro and Sheamus, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. It would have surprised me for them to do it again. But I agree True. because Corbin needs a win. Yeah. They got to get him on the right track. He's a talented guy. Yeah, he is. Give, give him a pay-per-view win. I mean, after this failed feud of Kalista, who Lord knows where he is. Or where he's, I mean, he's nursing his back so. somewhere. Yeah, you know, we should have done that. They ruined his career right his there. Career. Something <laughs> so. like that. Going with the end of days and Corbin. And Corbin, he tapped. Technically, on SmackDown, which was so stupid. Yeah, I was like, was "Is this rep serious right now?" With the fucking yeah, he was, he was crawling. Wrist. Man, he's crawling for the ropes. Exactly. I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't stand that. Uh, next matchup: Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. Spray Spooky Dolph Ziggler. Spooky. Stop it. <laughs> Bray Wyatt's team to uh, find Sister Abigail again, locked up like a cage animal in the in the thing with the surveillance CC footage on him. Uh, who do you have? And why? Orton because Bray doesn't win. <laughs> if Bray wins Bray this match, that. we should have some champagne on this show next week. And pop we should pop have bottles. Bottles. we should pop bottles on this show next week because Bray has not won in forever. Forever. Ever <laughs> So I'm I'm going I'm going Randy. Okay. Uh, Kevin? Oh, man. He lost he lost a cane. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Twice, yeah. <laughs> Not once, twice. To, to Kane's credit, Kane's on TV. He's on TV like five times a year. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> to Kane's credit, he they've kept him strong since he's been on SmackDown. They have. So they definitely have. Well, and I'm not saying those Bray wins should wouldn't have happened. <laughs> and Bray's just red Bray. They've been outside Bray. interference of by Randy Orton. He's been spooky Dolph. Stop it. He's been spooking <laughs> it up. He's been dolphing it up to the fullest. Yes. There's a good point. The Spooky Dolph Ziggler reference is because Dolph Ziggler always loses. Well, they both always lose. Stop so. it. If yeah, I get to the point soon where we just stop calling him Spooky Dolph and it's just Bray because he's going to lose more than Dolph. So then we just call him just 
that what if we have to we call it Dolph that. Spooky Bray? Is that how it works? You might have to do that. That's we just call it Dolph just playing Bray Wyatt. <laughs> That's already bad enough. Y'all dirty. <laughs> Randy versus Randy or Bray. Tough match to call because I mean Orton. Orton's Orton. Love the guy. Bray he loses. He loves to lose. You know. I mean, we're all advocates of him. We all love Bray Wyatt, but. Man finds ways to lose every freaking match he's in. Um, you remember Fit Finley's song, like, my name's Finley and I love to fight? Bray should be about it. Bray and I love to lose. <laughs> Run. <laughs> I hate you both so much, you know. I hate you both. Hey, I love, you know, it's all, it's a, I love Bray, man, but oh, it's yeah. so funny. It's so funny. I mean, WWE gives us a reason to pick on him. Oh, platform, yeah. So it's, it's, it's not his fault. It's, yeah, it's just the way he's been booked. It doesn't make any yeah, sense. Yeah. Uh, this is difficult. I um, this might be the last time I go with Bray Wyatt to win because he should win. He needs to win. One of our Twitter uh, subscribers hit us up asking us when the last time Bray won. Who knows? I think he said it's been like a year or so that he won a singles match. It's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this has got to be it, right? This has to be it. Yeah. He must win this match. He does. It was an absolute must win for Bray it Wyatt. Is. It's a must because he found Sister Abigail. I hope. I hope some crazy lights go out shenanigans happen. Maybe Harper returns and helps him. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Something, something has to happen. I don't mind the feud between Bray and Randy. I actually think mm -hmm. the backstage segments are kind of cool now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like them. They really go with them, dude. For through, so yeah, they whole, get like five show. of them or something. Yeah. Like that. Uh, I'm picking Bray though. Yeah. Like, he's my guy. I gotta go with him. One of them. We'll see. I know. We'll see what happens. It hurts me, but I gotta do this it. This could be a pick we both got wrong because you know it's Bray Wyatt. Can't ever really pick for him, but finally this is coming. Home. <laughs> this match right here would be the downfall. That's a, the it might be the decider. It might be the difference maker. Hey, um, all championships are going to be defended at uh, No Mercy. So first, let's start with the tag team championship, the SmackDown tag team championship. <laughs> the Usos versus the what are you the, the Beauty and the Bambies. <laughs> I was like, like, I was, I was like, the Beauty and the what? Mm -hmm. I was thinking of another. Uh, uh, Nova Pro Wrestling tag team, and uh, we're not gonna. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> so who do you have and why? I'm going to Usos just because I think Rhino and Ed, Beauty and the Man Beast are just uh, placeholders. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. Um, I mean, WWE does like to reign or uh, end reigns, you know, pretty quickly. Mm. They've only won, you know, one or two matches since being the tag team champions. I don't, I don't think they should lose just yet. I uh, even though kind of what. Your point was where the Usos and the uh, and you know Team Alpha will probably uh, feud afterwards, maybe for the tag team championships. I mean, who knows? But right now, we'll go with uh, Beauty of the Man Beast. Yep, uh, I got here Heath Slater and Rhino as well. Um, if they're working, I don't yeah. see any reason to take the titles off them right now. They they got over with. I mean Slater, he's been killing it since the yeah, Bray split. Yes. Rhino. Finally got over with Cheese Whiz. Yeah, right. And I mean, just, I I dig it. You know, they can even keep feuding. I don't know what's going on with the with American Alpha right now. Jason Jordan got a win on uh, Jay Uso this past yeah. down and they yeah. attacked him again after the match. He said came and saved them, but I mean, we'll see. Uh, I think we keep the titles on them though. Maybe let all three teams kind of just keep going at it for a little while. Maybe we'll get SmackDown gets TLC this year. Oh. Maybe we see a triangle TLC match between the three. And make it work. Because we'll long term booking. Yeah. Um, the story is already being put in place, so it would it would actually make sense. Yeah, for sure. It was a shock. <laughs> 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 what? Proper storylines. What? Can't Real storytelling. <laughs> anyway, um next we'll go to the SmackDown Women's Championship match. Alexa Bliss versus Becky Lynch. I'm pretty sure all three of us have Becky Lynch. Yeah. I love I love uh Alexa love Bliss, but yeah. it's Right now, Becky Lynch is the champion. Let, oh, she can work with everyone. Let her, let her keep running. They can keep feuding. Becky, uh, Alexa Bliss is great. Mm -hmm. she's, yeah. she's good on the mic for as young as she is. Yeah. yeah. Like, so, props to you. Like, I can't wait to see more. Give Major props. Yeah. She's going to be in there for one of the business for a long, long time. Oh, so. yeah. I love her finish, too. Uh, Twisted Bliss. Twisted yes. Bliss. Awesome. This is so <laughs> sick. Um, next up, second to last match, <laughs> career versus championship match, Dolph Ziggler versus the Intercontinental Champion, The Miz! <laughs> <laughs> um, Kevin, who do you got? I'm going with Dolph. You're going with Dolph. As hard as it is to believe, um, he definitely needs a W. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I'm just pretty much here. as much as, uh, you know, as, as his spooky uh, counterpart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it does. Um, his career's on the line, and most of the time when your career's on the line in WWE, you don't lose. Yeah. It's just kind of yeah. how history tells it. Um, Miz had, I hate for the Miz to lose because I love what he's been doing. He's been just an awesome Intercontinental Champion, but uh, I think his reign will come to an end this Sunday, and they'll probably continue feuding, I'd assume. Hopefully yeah. the Miz can win it back like the next pay-per-view. But for right now, for the, the next night, the career, I don't think. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. I don't think the career is ending. Uh, not just yet. Okay, Vanny, please. I'm going to miss. Okay, it's, <laughs> it's tough to pick, but I think <clears throat> kind of the wording on SmackDown when Ronaldo before they talked went on break. He said, "Could this be Dolph Ziggler's last match on SmackDown Live?" Which kind of leaves the interpretation open. I guess since SmackDown is his own separate entity, Raw is his own separate entity. Technically, he just his. Smackdown career was done, so you could still potentially pop on on Raw in the next few weeks or month or something like that, or maybe he'll pull a, a Hulk Hogan and become Mr. America like and just come back with a mask, or <laughs> you know, come back as a Spear Squad cheerleader with a mask on or something like that. He's, Who knows? He's been doing that KFC Colonel gimmick like oh, yeah. in, maybe it's a little foreshadow. Oh god, that'd be awful. Damn, that's, that'd be so uh, awful. Yeah. yeah. So you got the miss? <laughs> Going to miss. All right, cool. How about um, you? I've miss. Um, to your point, career matches usually don't end, or they don't end people's careers. Unless Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker was one exception. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic match. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. It, 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 it kind of pains me, though, because The Miz has been on fire. His, yeah. I, I look forward to The Miz segments on SmackDown. Right. Yeah, you know right. he's going to give you a good promo. He'll give you a decent match. The dude's been working his ass off. Now he's starting to use some of Daniel Bryan's movesets. Mm -hmm. I, why 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 mess with what's working? If it ain't broke, don't, don't. if it ain't broke, um, it. Dolph Ziggler put his career on the line. He's the foolish one. He always loses. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right. um, to your credit, or uh, what you were saying about the um, the the verbiage that Marl was using, the Miz when Dolph first put his career on the line, Miz said, no 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 no, not just SmackDown. I mean Raw. I mean you're out of WWE. Period. So, it, it, that leads me to believe Dolph is going to win. And my initial thought was Dolph was going to win. I got to go to Miz, though, because if he actually retires Dolph Ziggler, at first, that's good heel heat because people actually care about Dolph. Most people actually care about Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, some. It's a heel actually <laughs> getting rid of a, a, a real face that's on the roster. Yeah. Dolph isn't like a tweener or anything like that. Um, and I think that's a huge win for the Miz. Even, oh, you know, yeah. On top of all of this... Um, I could see mid match, maybe Maurice gets banned, something like that. Yeah, I can and, see that. Um, just Miz heals it out, still gets the win. He can. He, I think Dolph has to win the championship to stay in the company. Miz can just hit himself or act like doing Eddie Guerrero and get uh, <laughs> Dolph Ziggler disqualified. <laughs> yeah, so that's true. Just, I always give the benefit of the doubt to the heels because heels can always cheat to keep their championship. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm going to go to this. Oh, I'm with you on that. Good stuff there. I mean, see, you guys are thinking of what's smart, but see, they're right. creative. They don't think that way. I know. They do the yeah. exact opposite, which is why I'm picking Dolph Ziggler. You're right. right. So You're right. Good that's point. why hopefully that belt, hopefully, can come around this way. But well, let's continue. For me, I remember <laughs> uh, during the WrestleMania 25 between Undertaker and Shawn Michaels the first time, I was pretty sure Shawn Michaels was going to beat the streak then. And you said, you can undo a retirement, you can't undo a loss. It's true. And especially at WrestleMania with The Undertaker when that was still a huge deal. Huge. Don't get me wrong, it was always a big deal. Oh, yeah. But, so, we'll see. We we'll shall see. And we shall I think see. John Cena definitely didn't get fired after the Nexus knocked him out. So, if John Cena can come back from it. say, guys like Cena, Austin was fired 99 times. Yeah. <laughs> so. That's true. So, we'll see. <laughs> um, I believe this is the main event. Triple threat match for the WWE World Championship, no disqualifications. John Cena versus Dean Ambrose versus the phenomenal AJ Styles. Vinny, who do you have and why? The phenomenal Styles, one. He's the champ that runs the camp. <laughs> he, just can't, camp. he is. He's the, he's, he's the best thing going right now. And Isn't he, he though? And Isn't he, he though? Again, yeah, WWE could do foolish booking. Yeah, they could. But to me, you can't, you can't, you don't, met, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it ain't broke. It's going well, keep it going. To me, Styles should have, I mean, like I said, like we talked about the last couple of weeks, I think Styles should have a, 
and I see him having a lengthy reign. To me, I just don't see him losing it here. Now, who eats the pin? I think is the bigger question of what goes mm. down here. But I think, I think Cena eats the pin. I mean, Styles, Styles pin Cena. Especially if Cena is taking a little time off, he can eat the pin. And, and I mean, Cena, Cena. To me, he's not going to lose any mystique by taking a pin. Yeah. You know, Ambrose is ever since losing the title become better chasing the title than he did having it. So, you know, keeping him going and strong is pretty strong. Good. Yeah. So I think AJ Penn Cena retains the title. Sure. Okay. I'd like to see that. Uh, I'm always happy when Cena loses, so I know you are. <laughs> of course. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, no, I'm a go I'm agreeing with Randy and probably you too. I think AJ Styles is gonna win this match. Uh, again he hasn't had the belt for that long and like you said, best thing going right now, pretty much in the entire WWE. I uh, love all the work that he does in the ring, uh, on the mic, just all good. Um, you, you're probably right as far as who would eat the pin. John, John Cena most likely would, just to keep uh, just to keep Ambrose strong. I could probably see maybe Ambrose hits dirty deeds on Cena and then a phenomenal forearm to, uh, I don't know, maybe to Dean, just knock him out and he covers, he covers Cena. Who knows? Something like that. But um, I expect it to be a good match. I think oh, yeah. it would be one of the better matches of the night. And... I expect the phenomenal one to keep his championship, and I don't expect Cena to get that 16th title. Not just yet. Not just yet. Not yet. Should well, should it's coming. Happen, yeah. it's, coming. it's coming. It's coming. It'll happen, unfortunately. It, it's coming. It's a matter of when. Yeah, I know. Stay tuned for my how how cut that promo books or fantasy booking, whatever we'll call it. I'll call it something, <laughs> and I will talk about that soon enough. But I am agreeing with you guys. The phenomenal one is going to win on Sunday. He's had probably the best 2016. Oh yeah, I think you can ask for it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the only blemish on his 2016, if you want to call it that, is he lost a mania to Jericho, yeah. and Jericho's been killing it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's like, true. It has. Jericho's been literally killing it all raw. I guess since it was before he was doing great on SmackDown too, before mm -hmm. SmackDown split. And um, but man, yeah, just AJ Styles is. Pun cliche intended. He is phenomenal. He is. He Absolutely. is. He is fantastic. Yeah, he can do it <laughs> you all. Can yeah. Beat him. Yes. <laughs> He's too good. But um, I do agree. I think Cena will take the pin here. Um, I think he is going to go film American Grit. I'm not mm -hmm. quite sure. We'll see what happens. Um, so Cena's going to be gone for a while. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, sweet. We'll see what happens. <laughs> um, I can see Dirty Deeds. Cena eating. Cena going for an AA. Probably landing it on Ambrose. Styles will come up, hit him with the Styles Clash. Ambrose will get up, hit Styles with Dirty Deeds. Cena will get up, do an AA. <laughs> and, uh, they'll, they'll sequence it out. That didn't play out right in my mind. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, um, at we'll the end, the we get the picture. Ambrose is going to be laid out. Cena is going to plant an AA on Ambrose, turn around, phenomenal forearm. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. For the win. And that were our predictions for No Mercy 2016. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Let us know who you guys think is going to win in No Mercy. You can follow me on Twitter at JMLucas18. You can follow Vanny at Vanny Bernard. You can follow Kevin at OrtizKevin90. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. We are the generation that grew up in the Attitude Era. We won't throw the book at you. Until next time.